Yo, what is up everybody? It is jfish 2 k here and today I'm going to be showing guys how to fix a server error when you are installing a Microsoft Office 2016. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So basically, you install it, you get Word, PowerPoint. When you click on it, it says server address failed or server execution failed. And I'm gonna be showing guys how to fix that. So first thing you wanna do is click the link in the description, which will take you to the setup. 32-bit and 64-bit versions for the for your PC and what you want to do is download it then right click on the exe run it as the admin click on yes and it will pop up with the installation box where it's going to start installing Microsoft Office 2016 um, but yeah once it is done installing uh, I'm gonna pop the recording back on and I will show you guys the next step Alright guys, I am back, and now that all of this is installed, you can close, and you're given these icons on your taskbar. However, when you click one of them, you get this really annoying error, and yeah, you, it's going to ask you to delete the software. However, I'm going to be showing you guys a workaround. So I was looking through, and I found this page right here where it says to go to this directory and put something to zero. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So the first thing you want to do is hit the Windows key, type in reg edit, R-E-G edit, click on that once and then click on yes it's going to bring up this menu right here you want to first click on H key local machine then you want to go to software <clears throat> then you want to go to Microsoft and then what you want to do is look for Windows and T which is right here Windows and T click the arrow then go to current version then go to image file execution options just like that and then you want to look for the the programs right here so you have Microsoft Word and in order to find which one that is well I'll, I'll tell you guys so for Word it's called WinWord EXE so you want to look through here you find WinWord EXE and you click on that then you go to migration options right click on that click on modify it's gonna have 100 here change that to zero click on OK and then once I click on Windows, you can see that it's booting up Windows and eventually it is going to open up. It's just taking some time. Um, now, let's go ahead and do the others. We have PowerPoint. So PowerPoint is right here, Power PNT. Change that to zero, just like that. Click on OK. I think, oh yeah, these aren't uh, uh, aren't working because you have to actually add the program. This is a shortcut, so yeah. Now let's look for Outlook, which is right here. Same thing, right click, modify, change that to zero. Next is, uh, what is that called? Note, oh, OneNote, okay. So OneNote, is, there's two of them. So anything related to that, you wanna change to zero so it all works properly. And there you go, they're all launching as you saw right there. So let's change the rest of them to zero, just like that. And then next is Excel. So let's go ahead and find Excel. Right here, there's two of them. So let's do that one more time, just like that. And then the last one, change that to zero. And now when you try and open them, you're going to see that it works. So you click on it, and then it's going to boot up and then you will see that Office is starting to boot up and it's not giving me a annoying error as it did before. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it booted up. We can go ahead and create a new document. It does work and you can, you can type whatever you want. I can just type freely and create documents and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, that's, that's it. It's pretty, pretty cool. It's a really easy fix and then all of them will work as well. But yeah, that's pretty much how you get the server error to go away. Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, leave a like on the video. If you have any issues about it, let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, and peace out.